The Gaspi city, Albay, is known not only for its perfect cone volcano, Mayon, but also for having an old cathedral that was built hundreds of years ago. This cathedral was known as St. Gregory, the great cathedral and the oldest architectural structure in the city. We met a parish vicar who serves here at St. Gregory the Great Cathedral and let us hear the story on how this church built and how it's still standing up until now. Ako po si Father Don Sambahon. Ako po ay isang parokin vicar dito sa St. Gregory the Great Cathedral. Ang St. Gregory the Great Cathedral, ito yung simbahan, the church that was raised to the rank of a cathedral when the new diocese of the Gaspi was separated from uh, Nueva Cáceres and erected canonically as such on October 20, 1951. So the word cathedral is the Greek cathedra, meaning sin. When we say cathedral, it is the church to be found the chair of the bishop, the symbol of Episcopal as a leader of the diocese. 1587, the Gaspi City today was initially a barangay called Sawama. So you are familiar with the Sawangan Park that we have today. It was there the mission area started, the mission of the San Gregorio Magno de, de Sawangan by the Franciscan in the year 1587 and was called as a visita of Kagsawa. A visita means a chapel under the jurisdiction of parish of Kagsawa. In 1616, the Sawangan became a full-fledged parish, meaning meron na siyang sarili, hindi na lang siya isang chapel, isa na rin siyang uh, parokya. Uh, and, and it was called uh, Albay. So in the year 1635, so from a uh, Nipa hut, it was constructed with a uh, wood planks. So mas pinaganda, mas uh, pinalaki yung simba. By that year. By the year 1754, this newly built church was consumed by fire. Nasira siya ng suno and because of that, nawala na ba yung simbahan ng San Diego. During that year, 1900s, during the time of Father Pedro Romero, who initiated to build the stone church, what we have now in present. No? So after masira siya ng, ng suno, so this was initiated by Father Pedro Romero to build a stone church. No? Para mas patagan, hindi na siya masira na so, no? And in the year 1900, nasira naman siya because of the Philippine-American War. Pero hindi siya masyado nasira. Parts of the church were damaged during the, this war. Noong 1945, that was partly damaged during the World War II. It was again, repaired by under the supervision of Father Nicanor Beliesa in that year. In 1951, it became the seat and cathedral of the Ligaspi Diocese upon its foundation from the territories of Diocese of Nueva Casa. So we separate already from the suffragan, from the mother diocese, the, Arch the Archdiocese of Casares, and we have it now as a diocese of Ligas. Meron na tayong cathedral, sabi ko nga kanina, wherein you can find the cathedral, the seat, the chair of the bishop. Ngayon, maraming programs ang diocese na binababa sa mga parokya, and then from the parish, binababa sa mga barangay level, like itong pagkakaroon ng manaliit na komunidad, the small community, the basic ecclesial community. The church also offers a celebration of liturgies and sacraments from 19 barangays and three sitios. All of them are being served by this parish, offering the sacraments. So far, yun na yun ang mga dinaanan ng paroke ng San Gregorio Mag. Meron yung mga pagbabago sa structure sa loob ng simbahan from pre-Vatican from the present time para mas may pakita yung paniniwala, mas maging malakas yung paniniwala through the designs and images in the altar, bakit meron cross, bakit meron resurrection. It is all about our faith, about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ as the center of our Christian faith. But thousands of years have passed, a lot of events happened. It has a lot of story, and we call it now a history. Where does these things now? The things, antique items, 
that has a lot of value in making this history. Before we have this museum, na transfer kung saan ang mga lugar na transfer. Ngayon, nakatago lang siya sa isang lugar and merong plano and diocese to build a new museum in, in the Raga, just in front of the Raga Church. Pero meron tayong mga artifacts, yung mga old things na magsasabi about the history of not only the parish of the cathedral but of all the parishes in the diocese. The Great Cathedral taught us how to remain faithful in our lives as we pass the struggles and obstacles. The strong foundation in our lives lies beyond our faith and trust in Him. Even though you're old enough, you can keep your faith strong as well as your knees and feet can support you when you're standing and walking through the love of God. Still, the Church is obligated to give the meaning of life, the teachings of Christ, through the disciples down to the servants of him. Life is emotionally abusive, tiring and exhausting. But if you put God in ourselves, we will encounter them smoothly, one by one, and that will be the most grateful and miraculous feeling that every Catholic has.